think that was it. It did it. All right, guys. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and test out the new Flex Brushless Impact Driver. All right, so this is the hard case kit. It costs $249. It comes with a 5 amp hour battery, 2.5 amp hour battery, fast charger, uh, the tool, and a hard case. And just so you guys know, I am going to be selling the hard case, both the brand new batteries and the charger. So if you're interested, just let me know. I might list this up on eBay because I already have a fast charger. My, I don't like the hard case and I already got two batteries that are pretty much brand new. So let's unbox this, look at the specs, see how the size is compare and compare the size to the other impact drivers that I have. Just a few others just to see on how compact this actually is. And so yeah, so the one thing I do want to test out in the future is unrivaled power. If you put that in big letters on your case, I am going to test the crap out of that. Let's unbox this and see how this actually looks. All right, so I guess the model number for this is FX1371A-2B. I guess that's the model number for the kit. Uh, this has uh, three speed settings. It goes to 1900 RPM on speed one, 2700 RPM on speed two, and 4000 RPM on speed three, 4450 impacts per minute, 2500 inch pounds of torque, does have a quick eject quarter inch hex collet button and yes tool length is 4.7 inches and 2.7 pounds and yes it does have a self tapping speed mode all right so like i said this is a 24 volt system hard case seems to be intact you got instructions and warranty right here. I believe the warranty is a five year warranty for the tool, charger, and batteries. And plus it does come with a sticker. All right, you get a five amp hour battery, which I'm gonna keep these in the bag because I have one right here. As you can see, it is fully charged. It's still pretty much brand new. And it does come with a 2.5 amp hour battery, which the battery is at half which I have one right here, which the battery is full. I love that life indicator. That is huge. I, I love that. It does come with a fast charger. This goes uh, 24 volt, 160 watt fast charger. The model number of the charger is FX0411. It's uh, 120 volts by 60 Hertz by uh, 160 Watts. That output is 24 volts, of course. And so, yeah, you could mount it on the wall. That is the fast of the rapid charger. This does come with a uh, couple of flex bits and it does come with a clip and a bit holder because it's the same thing just like on, uh, on Cobalt. Co this, this pretty much does look like Cobalt's bit holder and two screws. We will be putting that on. And then of course, here is the tool. Now it does look, it does look compact, but it is, but it's actually very fat. This, the, the this model number FX1371A, 24 volt system, quarter inch six collet. Uh, like I said, the three speeds, 4,000 RPMs on speed three. I already ready the specs. Now let's talk about the tool really quick. All right, before I forget, let's put the belt clip on. I'm done. My favorite tool that I own. In this video, we will be testing out the 2.5 amp hour battery and the 5 amp hour battery. I want to see what the difference is. Let's take, let's have a listen. That is speed one. Speed two. Speed three. That is fast. Does have two modes for self tapping. Yeah, for self tapping, it does not go to any other speed modes. It has its own self tapping mode. That is fast. I will say this. Now, I want to talk really quick about the, the eject button. I think there is a few more th important things that you could put on there instead of the actual eject button. I'll give an example. My favorite impact driver is the Makita. 
uh, they, it has a button underneath the collet, underneath the housing as well, and that's actually a speed selector mode. So that would be more useful if it was like a speed selector mode. Just to just saying. All right, it is not a quick insert collet. As you can see, it does not stay in there. If, if you hold the eject button, then you can put it in, then it's in there. So, yeah, it is not a quick insert collet though. Now I wanna take a look at the sides of this really quick. See how fat this is. All right, so this is 2.4, wait, what was that? 2.48 inches. You don't have to do that. Look at the size difference. Have it back to back. So yeah, there is a significant size difference between these two. Now this really doesn't seem like a compact tool if you ask me. Milwaukee, now ignore this uh, anvil. This is my Frankenstein Milwaukee. I took the quarter inch collet out. I put a half inch anvil on there instead. And yeah, it is back to back. And as you can see, there is a significant difference in that as well. Yeah, so like the, the, this flex, it, it's actually a big impact driver. It, it, it really is. It really is. So yeah, this is, it's not a compact impact driver. But let's test this out. Let's see what this could actually do. And I, I'm curious to see and how well this does with 10 inch lags, which what we will be doing that in this video. And I also want to test out at the same time, since we're on lows, I want to test out the three eighths inch to a quarter inch X uh, adapter. Let's see how well that actually, this actually does. First we're gonna start off small, then we're gonna go bigger because we are gonna do a 10 inch lag in this video. We are gonna do the eight inch by quarter inch lag first. I'm gonna test out that eject button, see how easy it is to swap these out. All right, we'll do this right here. We're gonna use a 2.5 uh, amp hour battery for these, then for the lags, we'll switch to the five. All right, so a little balancing act. Ready, go. That is that's fast, that, that, that was fast. All right, let's take it out. Ready, go. That, that is fast. But will that speed, uh, the question is, will that speed help this tool out with the uh, bigger uh, tasks? And that's a disappointment. It, it's not, it should be a quick insert collet. If you have that button, it should be like the, the it should be a quick insert collet. It really should. Yeah, I push that and then put it in. All right, we'll do this uh, six inch specs right here. We're using uh, Hilti nut cider bits. Ready, go. Time. I'm gonna redo that because I, I messed up. I messed up on that. Ready, go. Time. Let's take it out. Ready. Ready, go. Not too shabby. And for the last test for the 2.5, let's do the eight inch uh, timber lock. That button, you do have to get used to that. Cause I keep on grabbing the collet. You do have to get used to that button. Ready, go. Time. Let's take it out. Ready, go. Time. Feeling those impacts, I do, I do feel that it vibrates the tool a lot. Let's see if the Craftsman 3 8 to a quarter inch hex adapter will survive this video. I'm hoping it will. We're gonna do the four inch first. The four inch right here. Ready, go. Time. It did it. All right, so for this, we are gonna switch over to the five amp hour battery. We got a four inch lag, it is first. Battery is full. Right here should do it. All right, so ready, go.
think that was it. Yep, time. It did it. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. That that was fast. That was fast. Oh, I need that still. This video is just testing out its power. I will do another video of this testing out all the features with the different batteries. I also want to get the 8 amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Ready? Go. Time. Did it. It did it. That this impact driver does seem pretty, pretty loud. Oh, let's take it out. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be very fast. Ready? Go. Time. All right, we'll, we'll do the 10 inch right here. All right, so ready? Go. That was it. And I'm a, I'm a mate up a little bit more. Time. I'm amazed the craftsmen survived that. That's promising. I do not know what the timing is until I edit the video. But let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. That is gonna be hot. I know I should I should be using impact rated sockets. I know. 121, 125, 119, 109, 13, 118, all right, 125, 125 for a couple of tests. Not not too shabby. That's sta that's standard on this channel. That's standard. Hey, but I I am excited to test this out even more. Plenty of verses coming, you guys. Just check out what I got to verse this against. I have Ryobi, Craftsman, DeWalt, Hilti, Milwaukee, Makita, Rigid. I have a ton of stuff to do this, uh, to do versus videos on this, and it's going to be great. Uh, for first impressions, it's not bad. On their promo video, they did not promise anything on this. This was just a, this, this is a, so far, it's a good tool. Like during their promo video, they did not promise anything with this when it comes to saying the fastest, most powerful. So this, it, it's a good tool so far. That is, I can't wait to, to test this out more and also do the versus videos against the other brands and test this out with the bigger batteries. It's going to be good. When it comes to buying this, I'm so disappointed that it's not tool only. I had to rebuy the kit, and like I said, I will be selling that. Uh, the 5 amp hour, 2.5 amp hour charger and uh, case, for, I'll sell that uh, very soon because I don't need that. So, so yeah, I can't wait to test the, test the crap out of this, but I will say this, this is a big impact driver. It is. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.